Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sarek, and welcome back to Last and Earth Survival. Today we will be checking out the crater, the multiplayer part of Last and Earth Survival, Sector 7, whatever you want to call it. So it's been quite a while since we have played here in multiplayer, and it might have actually been almost a year since I have done any PvP in Last and Earth Survival. Yes, indeed, you have heard me right. This game does have PvP, except it is pretty bad. And we will be checking that out today. I've already done some PvP before the live stream here. And again, the PvP here, as you can see, will begin in about four minutes. So make sure to check out the pinned comments down below. There will be timestamps and you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker. Like us doing raids, us doing the PvP here and doing a bunch of other things. So I am already 100% sure that I will just get destroyed, like absolutely demolished. Because before this live stream began, I have played some PvP already, like a few hours ago. And I just died. Like, I just spawned. I went into a bush and there were like three players that have teamed up. And they just destroyed me. There's like nothing you can do about it. PvP is just completely atrocious. Like, nobody should be playing here. Probably there is a reason why this crater hasn't been updated in over a year. But yeah, this place is just bad. I am going to lose all of my gear here today. All for science. It's not like I play here anyway. So this is... Wait, this is the clan storage. Everything is completely destroyed. And I still have another set of gear. Maybe I'm gonna even get this heavy shield. Maybe I'm gonna keep it for later, right? At first, we're gonna go outside there. We're gonna get uh, maybe some players with the shotgun. But at the same time, I don't want to waste those shotguns. Also, I have learned that a melee weapon is also quite decent. Except you gotta have a halberd, right? I think halberds are pretty nice. Like these ones, maybe? A battle axe... Is battle axe any good? I've seen some players fight there with battle axes. But in any case, no matter what you get there, you will most likely get destroyed if you are not teaming up there with your friends. And the uh, crater wasn't really meant to be teamed up with with your friends, but people still uh, did it. Okay, whatever. I'm going to get back my gun here. I'm going to put back this battle axe. And that's it. I'll just get destroyed. I really don't want to waste my shotgun here. But I could have used it on, 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 on whatever those things are called. On tournaments, right? We haven't done tournaments in a while. But whatever. It's okay, guys. In two minutes, this thing is going to begin. Would be cool, perhaps, to get some more food. So maybe let's visit some sort of a trading district, like, for two more minutes. And then we're going to check out some PvP. And we will see, ladies and gentlemen, how that'll go. What are your thoughts on the day before? I mean, I have spent, like, what, three hours streaming the day before yesterday. It's pretty goop. Those are my shorts. Like, long story short, it's goop. Um, nothing here, nothing here. They're not selling anything useful. I'm still surprised that there are people, like, selling anything in the crater here. Like, it's still, it's still kind of crazy. Will we play wet, uh, Wasteland after this? I mean, after what? Like, after Sector 7, will I go back to the main part of Last Earth? Of course. It's not like we'll be able to to do PvP here for a long time. We'll, like, spend maybe 5-10 minutes doing PvP. I'll lose all of my gear in, like, snap of a finger, and that's it. There will be nothing else I'll be able to do. Uh, okay, PvP begins in about 2 minutes. Okay, we can buy these soups. I kind of needed these soups. I have some cash, so let's buy it. That soup is... Wait click to buy that but that didn't work but if we got some soups it's kind of not centered but all right the soup is pretty Ooh, somebody's selling more soups uh, are they worth it i have no idea i'll buy 20 of that just so that you know what let's buy more as i said i'm not really here in the crater very often so we might as well indulge ourselves you know there we go let's have the like for this dude and let's see if they're selling anything else somebody's selling beans a stack of beans for 2k Let's get that. Uh, somebody's selling even more beans. There we go. Let's get those beans, ladies and gentlemen. We got finally a shop that sells uh, something useful. You can buy a revolver for 12k. Eh. Uh, it's pretty cheap, though. The revolver is pretty cheap. Kind of. Whatever. I'll buy in it. I bought a revolver. Maybe I'll be able to use that for the tournament if I do any tournaments today. So it looks like the PvP will begin in about 30 seconds. So let's go to one more district and then let's skedaddle. So, do we have any people in the chat that play PvP here in this game? I am just curious. Does anybody actually play PvP? I know there are people that play PvP because, as I said, today I already got killed twice there. 
So I am sure some people play it, but do we have any people in the chat that play it? Okay, these battle axes are 12k. They might be good for PvP, I don't know. Oh no, I bought the revolver for 12k when I could have bought it for 6k. Could have bought two revolvers instead. Whatever, let's buy one more. Now, let's get that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to the PvP. So, as I said, nobody should play PvP. Are you ready, Buckaroos? I want to see you here in the chat that you're ready. Because we are going to lose some loot in the PvP. The place is bad. We shouldn't go there. It's unbalanced. Everything is bad about the PvP. I don't think there is a single good thing about PvP. The only good thing about it is that, hey, at least we have PvP. But it's kind of goop. It's kind of bad. It's terrible. It is actually terrible. Okay, I'm gonna get 10 of these and 10 of meat, right? I don't need to have anything else here, really. So let's drop everything else here. That is it. I am ready to go and do some PvP with this shotgun. I'll probably just lose it right away. But as I said, I'm going there for, for the memes and giggles. You should probably get there this shield, as that way you can stun somebody. And then maybe you'll have a chance to kill them if they aren't teamed up. But ladies and gentlemen, the PvP begins let's go in it'll take some time to find it here so to those that have just joined i have already done some pvp before the live stream i wanted to test it out if i should go there or i shouldn't go there and i thought the experience was so terrible that i had to live stream it so i waited until the pvp begins and here we are the pvp is horrible like there's nothing you can do about it so yeah that is it there we go the crate will open in about three minutes somebody already spawned on that other side what are they? That's it! You see, there are two players! That's it! They're teaming up! That is it! <laughs> that is it! They're gonna probably do a leg shot for me. I have to somehow somebody skid out. That's it! I'm dead! I'm getting chased by two players because they have teamed up. There is nothing I can do about it. That is it, guys. This gear that I have is already gone. Somebody might be like, sorry, just shoot back. Th they'll kill me instantly. There's nothing I can do about it unless maybe I'll run through the zombies so that zombies go after them. That's it. They're trying to corner me. Okay, um, healing, more, healing, healing, there we go, I'm gonna go through the zombies, perhaps that'll help me out, and maybe, 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 there's another player in the bush, and, uh, oh lord, that is the PvP experience, ladies and gentlemen, okay, how about I go through here? to gather even more zombies. That's it, they ran away from me. Will I be able to escape this? Oh no, oh no, there's another player again. My heart is beating for some reason, it's trash. Why is my heart beating here? Why, why is it? It shouldn't be exciting or anything. It's trash. I'm not gonna be able to do anything. There are too many zombies. And the player is after me. I will get demolished. I will get demolished, ladies and gentlemen. They say, run boy, run boy. Yes, indeed. That's what I'm trying to do. Look at this, the two players and bunch of zombies are chasing me at the same time. Beautiful. I'm gonna run out of healing items here. Why are they chasing me? Why is everybody chasing me? What is this place, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Can somebody explain to me? You might be like, Tech, just leave. I want to leave. I'm doing my best to leave. But to leave, you have to stand still for six seconds. So there's nothing. I should still run through the middle when there are zombies. At least I'll have a chance to survive. But I'm dead. Regardless of what I do. That's it. Look at this. They, they are going to get me. That's the, that's the PvP experience here. <laughs> I can't. I just can't. That's it. I'm going back in the middle with a bunch of zombies. Okay, the crate's gonna open up in one minute. There's no way I'll be able to touch it. And I'm out of healing items. Even if I had more healing items, there's nothing I could do about it. That is it. You know what? I'd rather die to the zombies than to those players. I'd rather my body go here in the middle and there we go, get me. So now, I have no idea what's going on with those other people. You're playing tag, I don't know what I'm playing there. What's going on, can someone explain? We are playing PvP. <laughs> PvP. 
Why is the whole place against Happy Psych? I have no idea. In any case, we can go back probably to the same lobby. Um, the the worst part about the PP is that you have to have some gear. You have to have 120 gear score, so you can't just go there like that. What if I equip something useless? All right, just to get my gear score up. What about my gear score? It's 72, so I need to get some paints. Uh, do I have any paints? Um, I don't have any jackets. I have only one more jacket. That's sad. I do have an extra set of pants, though. So let's equip this extra set of pants. Let's get... A revolver that I bought. Just so that we can lose it again. As I said, that's the whole... Reason why I came here. To purge some of my loot. Okay, so that's with the leg shot. But where is another revolver? I bought two of them. Also, healing with beans is kind of bad. I think you can pee yourself. That's how I also died once. Oh, there we go. There's the revolver. And that's where the other revolver was 10k. Okay, is that enough? That 120 gear score? There we go. Let's go back to battle, guys. To the same lobby. VPs kind of pay to win only. And you can get uh, 2v1 if you're a solo. Yes, indeed. The crate is available. Okay, so somebody killed somebody here. I don't know if they're alive. I don't know what's going on. I don't even know why I came back here. What if I just stay here in the bush and wait until all of them leave, then I can go back to the crate? Oh no, look at the radiation that I'm getting with this armor. Like, it's insane how... How incredibly difficult is the PvP area. By difficult, I mean you have to have an insane gear here to just do anything. So the crate has already been opened. I want to go to the middle of the crate. I want to see if we have any players there. Probably all of them have left already. That's okay. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. So that which you, which you kind of have to do here. You wait until the timer is over. You open up this crate. And this crate should have some decent loot. Oh, no. This schmuck started chasing us. Okay, so the du this dude should kind of de-aggro. There we go. Let's leave this place. It looks like everybody left. Let's get out of here and let's go to another PvP zone. Because this lobby is done. I have no idea for how long PvP thing lasts for an entire hour. I think I have to wait four hours to do PvP and then you can do PvP for one hour. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, we can start another battle. It says that it ends in six minutes or something. Okay, so we're gonna hop into that other battle. Do we get this better gear for the last time? <sighs> I guess let's do it. What else am um, gonna do with it? There we go. Let's get this. Let's get this. I'm gonna go all in this time. I'll die there anyways. So it doesn't matter. I'm ready to say goodbye to this gear. I wish I could say that, hey, you know what, at least somebody else will get this gear, but no, they won't. Because even when they kill you, half of your gear just breaks. So, even the people that kill me won't be able to get this gear from me. So that's also kind of sad. Decent loot, or... I meant decent loot, like good loot. That place can give you good loot. Will you do any more Sun Can Land live streams, maybe? That crate, I don't even know what that crate gives. I don't think I've ever opened it. Maybe I have opened it in the past, but it does give you good loot. All right. I'm invulnerable, so if you spawn here and you stay here for a while... I don't know, man. I can stay here in the bush. Perhaps. Oh, no, there is a player. See, as soon as that dude saw me... Uh... They have a longer distance rifle. I'm already dead. I am already dead, ladies and gents. The dude will be chasing me now non-stop. Look at this! They're so annoying! They're like leeches! 
Okay, there's another player. There are two more players, and that is it. I, at least there are two... Oh, no, that's it. You see, that's what they do. They get you a leg shot. This dude is going to stun me. You see, there we go. The PvP experience. No! Heal up. Heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up. As long as I don't pee myself, we'll be fine here. Okay, there's another player. So, okay. Okay. I'm gonna go through the zombies again. Oh my goodness, another leg shot. Another stun. You see, that's what they're doing. Look at this! Nine health, 20 health, 16 health. Okay. How am I still alive? I have no idea. Okay, let's eat up some stuff. Oh lord. The worst part is that my heart is actually beating fast here. It's as if it's exciting. It's goop. This place is just full of goop. Okay, we're gonna go back in the middle. Oh no. Okay, let's heal up again. That's it, and they destroyed me. Beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, what do you think, ladies and gentlemen, so far about PvP? Let me know your thoughts. Why don't you call a friend as well, says Rumo. The PvP is trash. Say it with me, brother. To be honest, it's it's such a bad play because even when you call a friend, right, let's say... First of all, it's a trash place, so I wouldn't even call a friend here because... None of my friends would want to play this PvP, right? I don't have those kind of friends that would want to play this trash. There we go. I'm gonna say it like that. And second of all, I wouldn't want to ruin the experience for other players. And third of all, even when you do queue up with your friend here, it doesn't mean that you will be thrown in the same lobby together. So you have to kind of get lucky to get thrown in the same lobby. So in any case, it's trash. This place is just absolute trash. I have some more sets, ladies and gentlemen. Um... What do I break? This one? There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna get some soups. I'll get some food. I should definitely pee now. Because any moment I will pee myself. So do I have any water? It is painful to watch. It is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the PvP. That's why I'm doing it, so you don't have to do it. Where is the water? I don't even have any water. I probably don't have any water. Oh, I do have three bottles of water here. I have some beans. You just died. No need to pee. Does the pee meter reset? I am not sure because... Does it? Maybe it does reset. Maybe it does reset, actually. Whatever. I'm going to trust that. Does the pee meter reset? Maybe it does reset. In any case, let's go back. Uh, here. Why do you keep torturing yourself in PvP? I don't know, I think it's kind of fun. Wow, is this a new update, says Rudy? Yes. Now, we've had this update for over a year now. Okay, so the crate is already open, so there's nothing we can do here. Let's wait now six seconds to exit this place. And we're gonna go to another... To another lobby. This is my probably last gear set. I lose this, that's it. I won't be able to do any more PvPs. Then we'll go back to the regular last on Earth and we will... Like, do some raids and we'll do our regular stuff. It's just that it's been a really long time since I've done any PvP. I think I've done PvP when it came out and that's it. Then I stopped doing it. Because it was pretty bad. Okay, so we have 20 more seconds to do more PvPs. I guess. So let's try to log in. When do you think helicopter comes out? I have no idea. Why six seconds? I have no idea. Okay, so my thing is stuck. It's always, it's quite often here. You get that loading thing. Probably it's searching for players. Why can't it just give me a crate for me? And that's it. I guess now it's a lot easier to team up with your friends. Because before there were more lobbies, but now it takes a while to create a lobby. So if you click... Go to battle at the same time with your friend. Chances are you will be able to queue up with them. But I have nothing. I don't have anything to stun with. I got nothing. And people will team up together and they will go up to you and they'll just kill you. 
Like, off camera, I literally had three people team up together. And they just destroyed me. They just ran me over. There's some nothing. Okay, do I have any more players here? I just want to shoot somebody. I just want to lose my last set here and be done with it. Oh, Lord. Look at this. The dude is going to stun me. Hey, schmuck. Maybe he is searching for his friends. Look at this. Without your friends, you ain't so strong, are you? Okay. The guy is going there. All you have to do is not stop. And just shoot them. Don't have any friends, schmuck. If you have any friends, you did. Come back, schmuck! Okay, they just ran away. My heart is beating again. It's not interesting! Why is it beating? Sag, that means you're alive! Okay. Oh, a first kill. First bloody kill! Let's skedaddle from here. Dude, we actually got a kill. Let's see what we got. We actually destroyed this dude. There are actually worse players than me. Unless... I don't know what happened here. <laughs> I don't know what happened here. Was it... Was it good PvP for me? I know it was trash. I'm not gonna say that it was amazing. I killed a player here. But was it anything amazing like this? I killed that player and I got what? His completely destroyed heavy shield. This completely destroyed revolver. I got his backpack. And I got three antibiotics and that's it. That was... That's all I got from that place. But hey, at least I killed that player. That was something. As I said, like, if developers only continued working on this thing, right? It could have been so much better. I don't know why they gave up gave up on the people. It's nice when you kill somebody, right? Like, you're, you're happy. I'm sure they could have done something better about it. Less... I mean, I don't need these things. I might as well just run with them. Okay, let's go. I can't go back to battle. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Why I can't go back to that lobby? And the PvP is over. You have to wait for an entire hour and 40 minutes to be able to do it again. That's it. We did it. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. At least we ended on the W, right? Kind of W. We got nothing from that guy. He had no healing items and whatever. That's kind of trash as well. But... Hey, we did it. So what are your thoughts, ladies and gentlemen, on the multiplayer? Because my thoughts, it's goop. It's trash. It's bad. However, if they fixed it, it would be better. It would be actually pretty decent. I think the best kind of like... We didn't have any multiplayer in Jurassic Survival, but we did have... We could go and do a tournament here, but I kind of don't want to do it, any tournaments. I'm kind of done with this. Trash, if they increase the durability, it's good. Motel is better. I'd probably rather clear the motel. Oh, we also have daily gifts that I didn't get yet. A daily gift. What did we get? Drum roll, please. A hoodie. Thank you very much. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. Beautiful. Okay, let's skedaddle back to the main world. So some people are actually stuck here, I think. I've seen comments on Google Play Store and Discord everywhere that people get stuck in this crater and they don't know how to leave it so at the down right corner there's this button you click on it and then you can switch to your main character again so there's that it's like i got raided and the raider took all my 300 aluminum and steel and no footsteps left he broke three layers of level three walls is it normal i am quitting it's i don't know raiders raid Bots raided the base, right? So the bots raided and they got to your loot. That's sad to hear. It do be like that. Was the review on day before? I mean, the game's pretty bad. It's not a survival game at all. And it's very empty. Like, mobile games have more... Uh, more content than the day before. So there's that. Um, okay, now let's probably talk to the raiders. Oh, wait, before we do this, we have some other things to do in the settlement. The raiders want me to do 20 waves and kill the ravager. We're gonna do this. 
Tarkov with the zombies. It's not even Tarkov with the zombie. Don't compare that thing to Tarkov. But if I had a choice playing the crater or the day before, I'd rather play the day before than the crater. Absolutely. But yeah. Why do you hate the Winchester so much? You spammed that question multiple times. Could you elaborate? Um, okay, let's do this. I just ran around the base. And that is it. So yeah, the multiplayer is pretty bad. I'm sad that they gave up on it. If it was smooth on better servers and everything... Last night could be great. Oh, I didn't finish my thought. The Jurassic Survival had a battle royale mode with like other bots and it was cool. You spawn in there. They're like kind of little houses. You go in those houses, you get the loot, you kill them. It was like PUBG, but in Jurassic Survival. For those who don't know, it's like Jurassic Survival was last on Earth, but like with the, with the different skins. It was like last on Earth, but with dinosaurs. So it's kind of the same thing. However, I don't know why we never got that stuff in Last on Earth. It's crazy to me. It is what it is. All right, let's get this, this, and let's get stack of iron, and let's go to the settlement real quick. Let's fire up the workbenches because that's what we do. Little by little, we are progressing in that settlement. Opinion on the Dragunov weapon. It's very rare. Good luck, Wana. Take care, take care. Good luck with your plane. The devs gave up on Jurassic Survival. We don't really know what happened with Jurassic Survival. But yeah, that's what Jurassic Survival had that Last Night never had. Like, that game mode was insane. I don't know why we never got anything like that in Last Night. It's, it's just mind-blowing. People would love that so much. Like just just like some sort of an event, like a P a, a a battle royale event. That would be so cool. But yeah, the crater is also cool. It has like what three different currencies or whatever. They were trying to work on the on the crater. They were working working on it, and then they released that abomination that we have right now. And that's it. In any case, you like the settlement? I love the settlement. The settlement is the best. Uh, I want my fuel. Where do I... I forgot. I came here and I forgot what I'm even doing. Uh, I do have fuel in one of these things. Nope. Okay, we got it here. And the first thing, I have to remember that. Let's get two canisters of fuel. Uh, let's... Get more wood. I don't even know if we need to fire this up. But I yeah, will fire it up. I'll drop five of these. Let's get some iron and let's fire up the workbench here. Is the settlement worth it? It's up to you. If you want to get extremely rich. Then yes, it's absolutely worth it. Thank you, sir. I'm, I'm lying. It's not worth it. It's not going to make you extremely rich. Maybe it'll make you like a little bit depressed. Maybe extremely depressed. I don't know. Well, that is it. Sadly, we don't have any more pine beams. We will go today to the transport hub and maybe I'll get another CYF crate and I'll be able to open up that CYF crate. Okay, that's it. Let's go back to the base and let's get ready. Will they release the game if they bring multiplayer at Wastelands? What would you want multiplayer here in the in the single player? Give that crap away from here. We've just we just were at the crater. You saw how garbage the crater was. What would you want that stuff in the main part of the game? Blech. Um, mm, mm, mm. we need some more melee weapons. Let's get this. Let's get a few other guns. Excited for the helicopter and Cyrek the pilot. Maybe one day we will get the helicopter in this game. What about Scum series? Scum 0.95 update is supposed to come out quite soon-ish. I've heard some rumors that it'll come out before Christmas. So, yeah, there will be... 
obviously new series on Scum Survival. As soon as that update launches, there will be zombie hordes, which are... Which will be extremely useful, especially in single player. So I'm very excited for that stuff. I'm extremely excited for it. So yeah, there will be more Scum Survival very soon. It's just that new update is going to launch very soon, so I can't start new series. Continuing the old ones feels uh, weird. So... There's not much I can do right now. There will be more scum as soon as we get a new update. Uh, I didn't get a shotgun, though. We could get a shotgun before we go anywhere else. That is it. I think we got everything. We got two Glocks. We got a shotgun. This. That goop. And let's get a minigun just in case. I don't think I need any more healing items either. I'll get some carrots and let's skedaddle to the farm now. I'm wondering what they're gonna do for Christmas. Just as every other Christmas, we will get a Christmas event. We won't, we, I don't think we've ever gotten any permanent content on Christmas. We have gotten in November some, uh, we've gotten like that Bunker Bravo, right? But that wasn't for Christmas. For Christmas, I think we also got Christmas thing. We should try Lego survival mode in Fortnite. I have heard of it. I haven't played it. I've never played Fortnite. So I don't know. Perhaps one day we will check it out. Perhaps, perhaps. Is Cyric happy today? Cyric is always happy. When Cyric isn't happy. So, to those that have just joined, we have just played PvP in Last Day on Earth. We got destroyed. However, I died twice probably, right? And I killed one player as well. So, there's that. At least I killed that player, and that player can't tell anybody that hey, he got jumped by like three other players. It was 1v1. I didn't stun him. I didn't do anything. I just killed him, and that's it. Doesn't mean that I did anything special there. The PvP is still trash. However, at least I killed that guy fair and square. Right, maybe his friends didn't spawn. Maybe he wanted to, to, to spawn in there with his friends, and he thought maybe I'm his friend, and then he was like, oh wow, that's not my friend. Usually there is only like three of us. He was like, hey, usually there are only three players playing in the Sector 7. But for some reason today there is a fourth player, which was me. So the dude didn't know what to do. Probably that's what happened. Okay, let's deal with this right yokel. I have no idea why I'm even holding this minigun. Seems kind of fun. Let's keep using it. Flood the gate with your chopper and do the silly thing. <laughs> I really don't like doing those kind of things, like bringing the chopper, spending like 15 minutes to block the gates just to do nothing. I really, for some reason, don't like that. Because every time I'll touch the chopper, you always have to like wiggle around there trying to find a way and people are always like, Oh my god, you're not doing it right! Place it there, pixel to the left, pixel to the right! I can't, I can't do that, Goop. It is annoying me, I can't listen to it. I'm not gonna block any entrances with a chopper. I brought a minigun, god damn it. And I'm gonna use it. Also, I'm gonna kill all the zombies here because I wanna progress a little bit through the season pass. We're on level 75. Soon, we'll reach level 80. Also got another Dragunov at level 60, so we still haven't recycled that. So remind me that, and I'll get back to the base. And, uh, yeah. Okay, let's get the barn key. The older updates were insane uh, when you killed the miner boss. In the crater, you can still do it. You can still kill that boss with your friends. Except even that was bad. The boss was extremely difficult for no reason. You had to have like good gear. Getting gear there is bad. Like the entire crater there needs needs a huge revamp. They made it way too hard. They wanted to cash in so much on that crater. It was designed with profit in mind first and gameplay later, which is bad. And Last Earth was kind of designed a bit... It, obviously, it was still designed with profit in mind. But you can still enjoy and play the game. But the crater, you can't really enjoy and play the game. Unless you're like hardcore grinder there or anything. I, I don't know. It's just, it's just weird. The crater is just bad. Okay, let's wait until this Ravager starts spitting. You saw GTA 6 trailer, yes indeed. The game looks amazing. I think I've seen a video from IGN or something and they said that the trailer was at 30 FPS. And, uh, or whatever. So I've heard some rumors that when GTA 6 launches, it's gonna come out only on consoles. So on PS5 and Xboxes and whatever. 
and it'll be only a 30 FPS. It'll be capped to 30 FPS. Again, those are just rumors, so I have no idea what I'm talking. It's not like anybody knows what's gonna happen. But that would kind of suck. Imagine a game coming out in 2023 and it runs only at 30 FPS, unless we get a PS5 Pro that'll be able to run that game at 60 FPS. So there is that. But that would be so bad. And nothing against that person that reported that, but that person was like, Oh, it's fine. It's clearly okay for the game to run at 30 FPS. I'm like, bro, what? What are you talking about? It's 2023. It is what it is. You'd never know the difference. About the 30 FPS and 60 FPS? You gotta be kidding me. Red Dead Redemption 2 was 30 at launch, wasn't it? Again, that's like coming probably from a console player. I don't own consoles for that reason. Like, playing at 30 FPS isn't something... Something interesting. Something doable for me. Yeah, nothing against console players, right? I'm just saying the 30 FPS... It's not... It shouldn't be a thing in 2023. I'm used to 30 FPS. No, I'm not saying that people- Oops, I accidentally read that thing. Okay, guys, if you play on 30 FPS, 30 FPS is amazing. Getting a- a game in 2020- Actually, it'll be 2025. It's not even 2023, guys. It'll be 2025. If in 2025 and you get a game and on the PS5, you can only get 30 FPS on it. It's all great. It's all fine. Again, those are just rumors, so it doesn't really matter even what we're saying here. The seven giant. Take care, one up once again. Good luck with the plane. And it's coming from a player. I've played a bunch of games. It's coming from a player that I've played games at like 15 FPS. Like back in the days, I had a laptop and I beat an entire game at like 15, 17, 18 FPS. It would depend where I look. If I look at the sky, I could get like maybe 24 FPS if I'm lucky. But in most of the areas that have like 17, 15 FPS. So it is playable, but it doesn't mean that it's a good experience. Okay, we have looted this. You know what? Whatever. Let's just open up the blue box and let's get that all. Let's just open this up. And let's just drop the thing. Nothing. We got goop, ladies and gentlemen. We got more goop. Maybe some geoguesser are later. I have no idea. We'll see. We will see. Either that or maybe we'll hop to the day before for a second. Or something. Because the day they're supposed to launch some sort of a patch. It's not like it'll fix the game, but... I don't think nothing interesting will happen there. I don't know. We'll see. No, there aren't many zombies left. There were only like what, three Ravagers, one Savage Giant, and that's it. And we got, ladies and gentlemen, Plank with barbed wires. And another Savage Giant that came out of nowhere. Okay, let's get this dude. Uh, that, that. We got more survivor notes. I'll eat some beans. Um, and that is it. I don't think there's anything else we can get here. Yeah, that's it. We can skedaddle. Let's absolutely skedaddle from here, ladies and gents. We have cleared the farm location, not because, like, we needed the blue box or anything, but because raiders wanted me to kill the revenger, and that's what we did. We destroyed that schmuck. Don't confuse him with Ravager. Some people till this day call him Ravager. Which every time they call him Ravager, I'm like, what? It is not Ravager. It's Revenger. 
that's it. I'm glad we got that straight. I play on PC, so I'm used to higher, but still, when I go play RDR on my Xbox One, a 60 FPS is still smooth. Just depends what type of game it is, says Ethan. I would also agree on that. Yes, it also depends highly on what type of game it is at 30 FPS. And it also depends where you play. If you're, like, on TV, you're playing from, like, three, four meters away on a couch. With a controller, 30 FPS feels a lot better. But still, 30 FPS is 30 FPS. But I wouldn't be surprised, right, if it comes out, if we're speculating, if it comes out on PS5, right, and it has only 30 FPS, that would make sense. Kinda. Cause like, it's like truly like next gen, next gen. And even though PS5 is strong, but I mean, it's, it's already like a few years old and the game's coming out in 2025. When did PS5 come out? PS5 release day. PS5 came out in 2020. So it's already three years old. By the time GTA 5 comes out, it'll be like five years old already. So I'm pretty sure we might get a PS5 Pro by the time it comes out. PS5 Pro release date. Have they released anything? Okay, maybe in 2024 there are some rumors, but whatever. So I wouldn't be surprised if PS4 Pro comes out before, if PS5 Pro comes out before the GTA 5 is 6. Um, okay, let's drop some aluminum wires. Thirty FPS on PS5 and Xbox SX, and sixty FPS on the next gen Xbox and PS5 Pro, perhaps. Perhaps, perhaps. That's kind of what people are speculating, but we'll see. I can't believe we're speculating. The game's coming out in like in two years, and people are already like talking about like what kind of FPS we'll be getting in the game. Like the game isn't even out yet. We just got the trailer, and that's it. But it's always cool to speculate, I guess. Please recommend trusted emulators. LD Player, Bluestacks, and Memo Player. Pick one of those three. You probably can't go wrong. I don't know where to drop bandages. There we go. And a little bit of steel, ladies and gentlemen. What if PS6 comes out before GTA 6? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 20 waves at the PD. Hmm. Minecraft villager noises. Hmm. We could do it. Plus, I can get some blue cards. And we can do 20 waves, guys. Just 20 waves. That's like 20 grenades and that's it. Are you ready? Ladies and gents, are you ready for 20 waves at the PD? We usually do 99 waves. This time, it'll be a different story. Uh. I don't want to delete this pipe. What would you recommend grinding for loot except bunker out? This is Ethan. The farm location? Kinda, and that's pretty much it. I mean, this game doesn't really have a lot of location to locations to farm loot. You either open up daily air you either open up airdrops, you either do rest up events, you either do bunker alpha or you clear the farm location, like, very efficiently. You don't have to kill, like, too many savage giants. Otherwise, like, you won't really profit from that place. Other than that, there is a, there aren't many locations you can loot and profit in this game. So, there is that. Okay, we got the Dragunov, ladies and gentlemen. Sayak, don't recycle it, Sayak! Don't... I'm gonna recycle it. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. Say goodbye to the Dragunov, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. The Dragunov is... Gonna get destroyed. Okay, I'm gonna get some more shotties. I'll get some more random weapons, and... Uh, we can start those uh, 20 waves. I'm gonna get one set of armor, because I don't think we need more than that. Let's get the SWAT armor. Yeet the Dragunov, absolutely. We will destroy it, ladies and gentlemen. We will yeet... The Dragunov. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for it? No, sake, don't. I am ready. You might not be ready. 
but I'm ready. Uh, so let's recycle it. We got a blueprint, ladies and gentlemen. We got a blueprint. Now let's see what kind of blueprint is that. Side time six, it's my second duplicate. No. Disappointment is immeasurable. My day's been ruined. Don't you have to be like level 150 to raid? Yes, guys, you have to be level 150 to raid. Uh, disappointment is immeasurable. And check this out. Look at this. We have another side time six. It's my second side time six mod. And you get that uh, side time six mod on your drug enough by default or something. Or I already had it. It's my third side time six, basically. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. Soon at level 80, we will get another blueprint and we will get another Juggernaut that we can recycle. You know what? At least I have gotten a blueprint. So that is something. At least... I'm happy about that. I thought I heard something. Mbappe or Pogba? Pogba who? I guess that's settled. Let's go. Guess uh, this amount of healing items will be plenty. Oh lord, I didn't mean to take everything. Mistakes were made, buttons were clicked. That's way too many guns for 20 waves. Let's go. Football from England. Pogba is it's not a person. It's not a person. It's just football. Pogba is football. Ronaldo is football. Okay. <laughs> it's football. Transport hub is the best location. I need to unlock it. I would disagree with that. I don't think it's the best location. It, it has debatable loot. However, there are worse locations in the game. Um, I'm outside and I'm going to the PD, ladies and gentlemen, because the Raiders want me to clear 20 waves, so that's what we're going to do. I'm just waiting for the Christmas event. Last year, it was very worth it. I don't even remember the last year's Christmas. We've done lots of Christmases here already, so I really don't remember any of them. All I know is that the best Christmas event that we had was when we could get buffs to farm stuff. Or we could get a buff to farm trees, buff to farm the stones and other stuff. So there's that. Let's go through here. Welcome Raider. And let's begin the 20 waves. Apologies, ladies and gentlemen. Apologies. Need eight more, I think. Eight more for what? Uh, eight more for for what? Okay, well, I'm hoping that this Christmas event is nice. Whatever we get, whatever we get. I don't really have any, like, extremely high expectations. It's last on Earth, after all. It's not GTA 6. Right? For the GTA 6, my expectations are high, obviously. The devs haven't disappointed us yet. But last dinner, I mean, whatever we get, whatever we get, we'll say thanks, right? For Christmas, we might just get a new pack in the store and we'll be like, thank you. And you'll be happy with it. Let's be honest here. So it doesn't really matter what we get. I'm hoping for something good, but at, the, at this point, as I said, it doesn't really matter. We'll say thanks regardless. Rest in peace, ears, says the A. I was quiet. I moved away from the mic. I'm gonna deal with these guys on the other side real quick. Oh lord. My gun just broke there real quick. And 
then yeah let's begin those 20 waves very quiet i mean i did my best to to, to have that sneeze as quiet as possible what can i say i apologize I completed 99 waves. I feel like you should get a purple card, but oh well. I totally agree. You should definitely get something nice at the end. People have been saying that since the release of the police department. But hey, it is what it is. That is also another thing. Developers release a location and then never really iterate on it. Like, they've released the PD. How many times have we gotten updates for the PD? The only update, I think. We've gotten two updates for the police department in total. The first update when was when this police department came out. And the second update was when they removed carbon composites and factory farts. Uh, factory parts. Farts. Factory farts. <laughs> factory parts from the... From all the crates and that's it. So we only had, like, two updates. And one of those updates was to remove loot. So, that's it. How many updates we had for Bunker Alpha? Like, when the game came out, they were updating Bunker Alpha. I think we had a few updates for Bunker Alpha, and that's it. Then we got the fourth floor, and then we never got any updates for Bunker Alpha. And at this point, you know, I was saying that, A, they shouldn't touch Bunker Alpha. And I kind of agree, they shouldn't ruin it. But at this point, I wouldn't even mind a Bunker Alpha update. If it's obviously reasonable. It's within reason if you can still get rich from Bunker Alpha. I wouldn't even mind an update there. Like, I don't mind. Just sometimes I try to be nice. I try to protect the devs. I always try to think, at least deep down in my heart, you know, I put on the clown mask on my heart and I'm like, it's fine. The devs know what they're doing. There aren't many places to, to update. That's why we haven't gotten any updates. But when I'm just trying to be real with myself, you know, there are so many places that they could update. They could re-update the same places that they've already released, like the farm location. They did update it once in six years. So I guess hooray for that. We got so many new locations, so... So I guess an excuse that, hey, we can't add more locations, which nobody really made that excuse. I made that make that excuse for myself to make myself feel better. But yeah, farm needs better loot. It's an okay place, I guess. Every location needs better loot. Name a location that doesn't need better loot, besides, like, Bunker Alpha. But some people would even want better loot in Bunker Alpha. In any case, it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do the wave number seven. Whoops. Oh, lord. No, no, no! Okay, let's put the red zombie here to sleep. Motel is easy and you get a grenade very cheap. So that's why people love the motel, which is very surprising to me. People look at the motel as a free grenade there and that's it. The motel isn't very interesting. Zombies are very easy there. You can clear that place, clear that place probably with a spear. And it doesn't really give any other loot besides that grenade. So if you don't have a burglar perk, the motel is useless. The farm location is fun place to loot because there are zombies there. You can like sneak attack some zombies and the zombies usually spawn in like different groups. Sometimes there will be a bunch of zombies. Sometimes there will be a clump of zombies on the left. Sometimes there's a clump of zombies on the right. And for last dinner, that's kind of like as good as it gets. Like gameplay wise. And, uh, that's why I think the farm location is fun. It might not have the best loot, but at least it's fun. The motel does give a free grenade, but I wouldn't call that location fun by no means. I, green zone for me is more fun than the motel. Alright, let's go to the wave number 10. And the point is, the, the motel is a very small location. And you always get the same zombies there. Nothing's really different. It's a very tiny place. I've never done farm yet. I just solely grind Bunker Alpha. That's a wise choice. Bunker Alpha is cool. 
I'm just saying that the farm is fun. Like what they've done with the farm now, the farm is actually fun. I don't like that you have to re-enter the location many times. That's kind of annoying. Because clearly that's not the dev's intention for you to uh, re-enter the location many times to re-aggro the zombies. But without that trick, that place is unbeatable. Like to get any profit from that place. It's impossible, there are just too many zombies. Okay, let's go for the wave 12. Whoops. Also today, I would love to go to the swamp location. It's been quite a while since we farmed any any ash wood. I'd love to get a little bit of that ash wood to upgrade our base. And we got a blue card, ladies and gents. Only do the motel if I need a few points for the supply event. I don't mind the motel. The It's an okay place. Like, you get a free grenade, as some of you said, but... As I said, that place is just very boring for me. There's very boring zombies, very... it's very small. You can clear that place in like probably like five minutes. You need to bring a hatchet. And the loot that you get is... Uh, is funny. So there is that. Farm does look cool, just doesn't look like you'll make profit unless you do it in a very specific way. Yeah. It is nice if you want to get chopper parts, though. You can get chopper parts without opening up the blue. You do get a full armor set, and I have cleared it on my free-to-play account. And on my no-storage account, with, like, guns here and there. And you still get profit. It depends what kind of profit you want to get. If you want to get guns from that place, I don't think you will always get guns. It does give you copper bars. And you don't have to, like, do it very, very specific way. Just don't kill savage giants. Like, your main goal is to... Is to avoid those savage giants. Plus, if you want to loot those uh, white sacks, you can get charcoal. Which, again, if you have a lot of charcoal, at the, you, you, you can never have too much charcoal. You can get a free stack of charcoal, you can get other loot. The farm location is okay. I don't mind the farm location. You do get a full set of armor, you can go there with uh, with one set of armor, like almost full set of full set of armor, you'll get a full set of armor instead. Another day, another banger, says insane. Insane, insane. Welcome to the stream. Glad to see you here. You've got your point with the motel, it's very repetitive. Yep. I mean, every place in Last Earth is very repetitive. Like, Last Earth in itself is very repetitive. But just the motel is like probably the most repetitive place in the game. You like clear it once and that's it. Like, there's nothing else to do. And the loot is so. It's funny. And people that say that that place is good, it's just... Every time we talk about the motel, there will always be people that will kind of defend the motel. So I always kind of want to talk more about the motel because I've been playing this game for six years. And I just want to know more. Right? I want to know every... Uh, everybody's thoughts on every location. Maybe I'm missing something. But like, if... Like, I've started a bunch of free-to-play accounts. And I try to avoid that motel like plague. Like a plague. I don't want to go there. Getting a free grenade, that's it. Without the grenade, that place is like an absolute zero. I did need to get a light bulb, so I had to go to the motel to get that light bulb. But I mean, you can get that light bulb from other places, and you need that light bulb only like once throughout the entire game, probably. And going to the motel to get a light bulb is not really a thing. So again, I have nothing against the motel. By no means, I don't think they should remove it from the game. Like, for myself personally, I wouldn't want to go there. I would rather not go to the motel. Oh no, my armor's broken. Oh no, I should have dropped... ...grenades. Okay, that's it. We've done 20 waves, is that right? 
Just give you a cheap grenade every 12 hours? It's not every 12 hours. It's every day and 12 hours. Uh, so let's probably surrender. I think we've done 20 waves. But it's cool that we get a grenade from the motel. I'm not saying that it's bad. It's great that we get a free grenade. But that's all it has going for it. They might as well give that grenade in the in the inbox daily. I haven't done transport hub yet. I started playing again. Is it good? We will. We might go to the transport hub right now. It does. It has a variety of loot. And if you need some of that variety, then maybe it is worth it. It is expensive. You need guns for it. There are some bosses that are also very difficult and you need guns for them. You can also wall trick them, obviously, but that's another can of worms. You don't like the laboratory because uh, you don't like it. Who said that I don't like the laboratory? Oh, do you like the laboratory? Because I don't like it, says my too. The laboratory. When it came out, it was fun. I think laboratory is uh, fun. It is difficult to clear, but I think it's fun. The loot is nowhere near worth it. The loot is very bad. The loot is atrocious. It is probably the worst loot-wise place in the entire game. I... It's hard for me to find a location that's worse than the motel because at then than the laboratory because at least in Bunker Bravo you get ch uh, parts for your ATV. So I can't really say that a hey, Bunker Bravo is useless. No, because you will get like parts for your ATV, so that place is good. But like laboratory, it's just the worst. It gives nothing. Now you can assemble the drone. Yes, now at least you can assemble the drone. But the laboratory has been out without the drone for so long. Now at least you can assemble the drone, but still you can assemble that drone without clearing the B1 and B2 sector, which are very expensive. So it's just ridiculous. The place is pretty good. I didn't open up any crates in that PD. I wanted to open some of them up. But here I am. Okay, let's get another... Wait, do I have my broken set of armor? Yes, I do. I'd rather use that, perhaps. At least Bunker Bravo has a great event uh, that nerves the difficulty a lot. Yeah, Bunker Bravo does have a nice event for it. That is also true. But even without the event, Bunker Bravo still makes sense because you need it for your ATV. It's very expensive, but at least Bunker Bravo has its place in the game. Laboratory now is meant to... to assemble the drone. But there's that. They should have added scenarios to all locations rather than just green, yellow, and red zones. Uh, you just mentioned all of the locations. I think you meant... You meant like oak zones and ash zones. Okay, we got a C4 uh, task. Let's get it from the inbox. Is the oil rig good? What's it about? Oil rig is not in the game, sadly. The oil rig is sadly not in the game. It is also kind of surprising that the amount of locations that we get on the map, the amount of two, maybe three locations on the map that we can't access, maybe four. I don't know. Why? I don't know. It is what it is. Okay, let's get some hatchets. And let's go for the first raid of the day. Three, four, five. I'm so disappointed about the day before. If you've been at yesterday's live stream, if you checked it out, that was the new game that came out. I had kind of high hopes. 
I didn't expect that that game will be great or the best. I thought that hey, it would be like broken, blah, 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 whatever. But at least I thought that it'll be good enough for us to play here. I really wanted to cover a lot of it. The game like doesn't have any content, but the game is pretty goop. So I'm disappointed by that. Okay, let's get two blocks and let's go. Is it worth it to do the raider tasks? If you want to raid, then yes, they're worth it. If you don't want to raid, then they're not worth it. In this game, raids are nice. Most of the raids are bad, but some raids are nice. And those some raids will make your life a lot easier. Like you might get a bunch of food. You might get a bunch of healing items. You might get a bunch of like stone, bricks, planks, wood, like whatever else. You might get a bunch of healing items if you get lucky. You can get a bunch of guns, but again, you can get guns from Bunker Island, but it's also nice to get them from raids. So raids are cool. You can get like a bunch of things sometimes and it'll make the life easier. Mm, okay, we already have one more C4 in the inbox. Whatever, let's get it. Maybe this raid will require two C4s. Minecraft gets boring to me after completing it three times a week. You don't have to tell that to me. <laughs> I believe. I mean, you don't have to tell me that twice. I believe. I believe that it gets boring. I've been with Minecraft uh, for six years. LDOE raid player eight nine one nine. For those who do not know how to do research, just go on YouTube and type. Uh, LDOE raid player or whatever base you're raiding and you should be able to find those things. If somebody uploaded a video on it. Okay. Okay, so it does require 2C4s. Okay, then let's raid it with 2C4s. What are your thoughts on Frostborn? Frostborn, it's Frostborn. It's last on Earth, but it's multiplayer. I completely don't mind it. I would be probably playing it here on the channel, but it doesn't have enough people playing it. It doesn't have the audience. So it's not worth it for me to play Frostborn. There aren't enough people playing it. And... Uh, plus, there were some other things that I didn't like about the game at the beginning when it came out. Like raids and other stuff was all goop. And how about I place one more C4 here? Alrighty, now we got a wave of zombies. Can they go through this thing? Yep. They can. Imagine if they nerfed Bunker Corral for rewards and took away the wall trick. Well, that would be very sad. Nowadays, you can still play the game for quite a while, even... Even, even without Bunker Alpha. Have you heard of my summer car? It says the A, never heard of it. What's... What's your summer car? Uh, okay, I don't have any more C4s. That's good. That means I won't explode anything. On accident. Do you still play The Witcher 3? I still have it. I haven't played it in a long time, sadly. Like in maybe three months or something? Four months? But Witcher 3 is awesome. I have played Witcher 3 a few years ago. I've beaten it fully. I've beaten all of the DLCs. And uh, about a year ago, I started replaying Witcher 3 again on the death march difficulty and i have beaten the main part the the main witcher 3 and then i started playing blood and wine dlc i think i got halfway through it and then uh yeah and here i am i haven't like kind of continued it continued it yet i will be probably continuing playing it i'll continue playing it later
That's what I play off camera. I don't play it on the channel here. Are you excited for the Witcher 1 remake? Uh, yeah, of course. Anything's anything connected with the Witcher, I'm excited. The point is, we don't really know much about it. We haven't seen any any trailers, anything, so we don't know nothing about it yet. But like, hey. I mean, uh, we know it'll be Witcher, Witcher 1 Remake. I have played Witcher 1. I don't think I've ever beaten it, but I have played Witcher 1. Maybe I have like 30, 50 hours in it. But yeah, sure, I'm excited. Uh, let's get some more iron. Do you like playing Warzone? I think they released like Warzone 3 or something that looks exactly like Warzone 1. So there's that. I haven't played Warzone in a long time. I'm mostly excited for it because Witcher 1 didn't really age the best. Maybe. What I remember about Witcher 1 is the character moving very funny. Like, if you go, if you start walking, the character kind of slides for a while, and the guy kind of, like, moves, uh, moves very funny. So that's what I remember about Witcher 1. I don't think Witcher 1 has, like, the worst graphics. It looks fine. I think graphics for Witcher 1 aged well, but the, but some animations and some other things were pretty fun. I've played a lot of old games, so... Yeah... However, I've already spoken about it. Okay, so does this raid get Sykes approval? Probably not. It was pretty good. However, the game that I'm excited the most, like probably even more excited than GTA 6, not probably, but for sure more excited than GTA 6 is Gothic Remake. I spent countless hours playing Gothic. I grew up with it. So I'm extremely excited for a Gothic Remake. Like it's the only game that I'm probably like truly excited. If that game is a flop, if it's bad, if I don't like it, I don't like obviously I wish that game the best and success and everything, but if people don't like it, I don't care if people don't like it. Like I want to like that game. And hopefully I like it. Hopefully they don't ruin anything. And I'll be the happiest person alive. If it's a flop, I don't know what I'll do with my life. I'll be crying in the pillow. Um, let's drop these. Let's drop uh, the katana. Except it doesn't fit. I cry in the pillow every night. Stop it! Don't cry in the pillow every night. I mean, it's fine. I'll get over it. Right? If the game's goop, the game's goop. But yeah, I'm like really excited about that. I think in the Game of Wars, they also announced like a new DLC for the God of War, like God of War Valhalla or something. I don't know much about that. Is it a free DLC even? Maybe that's even a free DLC. A free DLC in 2023 or in 2024, like whenever it'll come out. A free DLC, like it, that's that's unheard of. A free DLC, like exactly. Like, that kind of actually blows my mind. The devs will spend time working on an, on a game on a DLC and it'll be free, like, I kind of don't understand it. Unless that DLC will have microtransactions. Like, other than that, I really don't understand why would they spend time working on it. Like, I really don't get it. Like, shout out to the devs. But, like, that does boggle my mind a little bit. I think it'll be available in a couple of days. I don't know when it'll be available. I didn't check the release date. So, I don't know much about it. I'm gonna talk to the raiders. Uh, mm 
Mm -mm. And let's pay them. Actually, let's pay them with a spear. Games are boring nowadays for me, says uh, my two. It do be like that. Also, your brain creates memories. And usually you remember the best parts. So if you played like some nice games like 10 years ago or whatever. And now you try to play those games and you're like, oh, they're not as fun. They're the same. Just times have changed. Plus, you do remember those things better. So let's say if you replay a game right now that you're not really into it, like in a few years, that experience will feel better than it actually was. I gotta try Gothic sometime after I got the time to play. This is Mr. Dunhill. I don't think people will enjoy it. It depends what... I mean, it depends what kind of games you play. It's not a game that people will like. It's not a game that I would suggest for people to try even. It's a very old game at this point. It has extremely clunky controls and everything. Okay, we gotta raise three doggos. We gotta get the colonel. And uh, at the factory and the three puppies. Okay, so let's raise the three puppies. God of War DLC comes out on Tuesday. Okay. Understandable. Well, that's true, but also one of my favorite franchise, uh, one of my favorite game franchises aren't made anymore. It do be like that. Okay, let's send this dude to the crate. And that's it. I don't think we got anything else to do. Except before we do anything else, I think we got the puppy, right? We got this Rottweiler puppy at level 3. Daisy. More like Cooper. Roxy. Okay, we cannot do anything with these puppies. Wait, did I name him Gooper? We got a Rottweiler Poppy Gooper, but where is it? Excuse me, sir. I got this Roxy. I got Sasha, but where is Gooper? Oh, it's not grown yet. It hasn't grown yet. Of course, I am a donut, ladies and gentlemen. A bloody donut. Okay, let's raise this puppy. It's a leader pup. And now it's here. There we go. And we cannot do anything with it. Understandable. Have a nice day. Gooper number 534 billion. 34,000 billion million fives is insane. Yes. Yes. Can't wait till they add horses to the game. I mean, maybe one day we'll get horses. Also, I haven't opened up any blue cards yet. So as soon as we are done killing the colonel, we're going to open up the blue cards. So if we're talking about games, I have my opportunity to talk more about Gothic. It was amazing because it was a simple game. You kill an enemy, you get experience. You get experience, you will level up eventually, right? Like, uh, you need, like, let's say 500 experience. Every time you kill somebody, you get experience for it. That's why the game was so good. Because every enemy felt like valuable to kill because you always get experience. Even in Witcher 3, when you kill enemies, you, you do get experience. You get like one or two experience, but you don't even see that. The thing doesn't pop up on the screen. You kill zombies, you get experience, and you get stronger, and that's it. The game was very simple. And yet cool. In any case, all of that stuff aside, I'm outside, and I already don't remember why I'm here. I got the guns out to deal with the colonel. Why did I get so many weapons? Can somebody explain that to me? How to farm the new locations to find oats for the horses. Oh, and have to farm the new locations. Okay. I wouldn't mind that. Whatever. The game I'm most excited for now is Avowed. I haven't heard of it. Hopefully it's great.
Okay, I'm gonna load this chain chest. Why would anybody chain it like that? Makes no sense. But hey, I'll open it regardless. Whoops, didn't mean to shoot that deer. That deer didn't even move. It took that bullet. There's no tomorrow. Okay, so I'm gonna save that deer then. Okay, that was the colonel that is it we did it and finally the deer woke up and it left well good luck deer Cyric can you see my messages hello I can Booper starved I mean they did get some food they always have food it's like I literally saw you saw nothing they have food Okay, let's go back to the base and let's get ready for the raid. Uh, except before we do this, we need to open up a few blue cards. So let's go back to the PD. Let's open up like, I don't know, three, four blue. Maybe five blue. Didn't even say hi back. I did say hi. What do you mean I didn't say hi back? I said hi. Hi to everybody. Sai, can you get raided? If yes, what to do against? Yes, you can raid it. There is nothing you can do about it. You can build walls. Um, okay, this goes there. Do I have any other tasks? I gotta talk to the raiders. Oh yeah, the blue card. The blue card. Mm, okay, we're gonna get a new armor anyways. So that does not matter. However... What does matter is us getting cards. Let's not forget about that. I'll get just 50 of those. I'll exchange them all for blue and that's it. Have you ever played for honor? Nope. I had one of the, the, the craziest ideas ever for a video. I wanted to make a video where I rank first of all like every survival game that i've played throughout my entire life and most of them i've played here on the channel so it'd be like relatively easy to find all of the games that we've played here maybe there'll be 20 30 40 50 games i have no idea we could rank those that's fine but then i had an even wilder idea like ranking every single game that i've played in my entire life so that would take obviously a couple of days weeks to to remember all of the games that i've ever played and just ranking them for the memes but I, that was just an idea, and it'll probably stay as an idea. <laughs> Last internet number one. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Says insane. Yes. Just that the amount of games that I've played before YouTube is already a lot. The games that I've played on YouTube, like, those are already... Like, that's, that's already a lot of games. Plus, even... The games that I have played on YouTube that I have deleted. That's already a lot. So I don't know. The number will probably reach over a hundred. Have you ever done a video ranking all the places, zones, and lads on Earth? Yes. Or make a top ten. A top ten? Top ten games that I've played. I mean, that's the same thing. I'll have to, like, figure out all the games that I've played. I don't like ranking things, but... I mean, if you don't rank them, it's not really fun, then. Uh, let's get five blue cards. And let's open it up, ladies and gents. Let's see. Uh, we got a Winchester! <laughs> Stop it! I don't want more Winchesters! We got side times eight. That is disappointing. Plus, we got this comfortable grip for the zip gun. If we get another Winchester, I'm ending the live stream early. Okay, we got double muzzle brake. We got two Glocks, that's beautiful. We got a flare gun, okay, that'll pass. We got a silencer and uh, no Winchesters, that's lucky. The game heard me. We got this comfortable grip for the zip gun as well. Okay, at least no more Winchesters. That's good.
And it's kind of crazy. Some people will still defend the Winchester and being like, oh, it's a good gun. Then use it. Then use it. I don't need to hear your opinion about it. You can use that Winchester. You can enjoy it. You can love it. I don't care. It's a trash weapon. But if you like it, you like it. All right. Enjoy using it. I won't touch it with my fingers. Playing last on Earth, but only using Winchesters, guys. Imagine that content. I think I'm a genius. Okay, two Winchesters, baby. Do I really bring that stuff to the base? Probably. And on the other note, my phone broke recently. It fell. Uh, touch screen stopped working. Half of the phone, the, the touch screen from the middle of the phone stopped working. I disassembled the phone. Nothing happened. The screen's still not working properly, so I ordered a new screen. Hopefully it'll work. If it doesn't work, I know I'll cry in the pillow for a little bit. And that's fine. How are we going to record vids now? Luckily, I don't need the phone to record any videos. I still have the other phone. I still have my A70. And it's probably the best phone that I've ever had. That's it, period. Okay, the best, the best phone that I've ever had was a Nexus 5X or X5. I think it was 5X. That was, like, the best phone that I've had. Like, it's insane. It still had the best fingerprint. It was on the back there. It was fast. You could always be precise with it because, like, it had... It was the best. If you had Nexus X5... Or 5X, I don't know. You know what's up. That's the best phone, probably. And the second best was my Samsung A70. That thing took a beating. It fell on the floor from crazy heights. It never broke. It had a plastic frame, and it never broke. It's insane. That's it. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. Absolutely. And it has insane speakers. Also, Nexus 5X had like ridiculously good speakers. It had two front speakers. It has. It was like it was. It was an amazing phone. Okay, we gotta drop the pants here. No more armor. Do I have anything that I could delete, for example? Like this SWAT armor, like, I mean, it's half broken. Like, bleh, we don't use that stuff in the base. It's broken garbage, we don't need it. If it can play last on Earth, it's good enough. Um, yeah. Nowadays, most of the phones are fine. I'm just, it's not like I had thousands of phones. Like the, the two phones that I mentioned, uh, that's like probably 50% of my phones that I've ever owned. Um, this thing goes up here. The Winchesters go there. We don't talk about them. Don't look at them. Wait, are we ready for another raid? I think we are. Mm, we gotta get two Glocks and let's roll. We also haven't been at the swamp for a while. I need to get swamp trees, ladies. Swamp trees. Swamp trees! I need to get ash trees. I was gonna say that I was triggered about losing, but all the items I was carrying were valuable. Plus, I wasted a whole bunch of gas trying to get my items from the rest stop event again. Okay, that's interesting. Good luck. Swamp trees. Yes, indeed, guys, we'll be getting the swamp trees.
Order a cheeseburger with pineapple. What is that? I've never heard of a cheeseburger with pineapple. I miss pineapples, though. I still have two cans of pineapples. I made a mistake and I bought them with, with syrup. I don't want pineapples with syrup. I just want pineapple in its own juice. I don't need extra sugar in pineapple. It's already sweet enough. But yeah, I'm excited for the pineapple. Pineapple is awesome. Speaking of awesome things, I have finally finished the Big Bang Theory fully. Yesterday was the last episode that, that I watched. I loved it. Recently, I've learned that some people did not like the Big Bang Theory. They thought it was bad. And I can just say wall to that. I think it was amazing. I've seen a decent amount of TV shows. I've seen some sitcoms. And usually, at the end of everything, when you're watching like the last two seasons, you're like, I just want that uh, stuff to end. I just want to be done with it. And I never really felt like that with the, with the Big Bang Theory. It was great. I liked it. Did, did you also start watching The Boys? I've never heard of it. Or I remember it wrong. The Boys? I have no idea it was The Boys. Okay, let's get a C4. I don't even know why I took that C4 and also another set of armor. Yikes. And Kevin Dadu! Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the super chat, Kevin Dadu. Welcome, welcome. You actually suffered through the whole series. What do you mean suffered? It was amazing. Like every episode was a blast. What do you mean suffered through it? It depends probably how you watch it. It's pretty easy to to not like a TV show. If you're watching it with somebody that doesn't like something and they're constantly complaining about it, you will change your mind about that as well. So I get it. I think it was good. It was it was really good. I enjoyed it. I really have nothing to complain about the Big Bang Theory. It was great. Everything was fine. Everybody progressed through every season. That's why I think it didn't get boring for me. So that's it. I mean, it lasted for 12 seasons and each season had 24 episodes. Like that's insane. LDE raid uh, player 8419. Let's see what kind of goop we can get this time. All right. Okay, and... Uh, okay, I think I know how to raid this base. Probably. Season 1 was good, I guess. Not a fan of Season 2. I'm on Season 3 right now, so it's insane. What are you watching? Uh, what seasons are you talking about? Yo, Kevin Dado, thanks once again for the switch. I have no idea why it hasn't appeared on the stream yet. Streamlabs is lagging insane today. Oh, the boys. I, I I don't know. I haven't heard of it. Durga just spoke of it and it appeared. Thanks once again, Kevin. I haven't watched that TV show. I have no idea what the, the boys TV show is about. Okay, we're going to get a bunch of chests. That's nice. Um, do we get any loot here? I don't know. Some wood. Excuse me, some stones. I will try to bring that stuff back to the base. I thought you said in the previous stream that you started it. I probably... We're both confused about something. I might have said something wrong. Maybe you heard something not right. Probably the latter. There's no way I could have said something wrong. No, but I'm kidding. I maybe said something wrong. I don't know. I've never heard of that TV show. It's the first time I'm hearing about it. We got some stones, we got some woods, and this is the best raid ever. This is the age, man. It's catching up to me. It, it'll catch up to everybody. The 
age will catch up. Did I just really bring carrots? Uh, I mean, we have enough food. Do we? I don't know, man. I'm going to bring the carrots. Okay, let's open up a few more chests. Is my internet trash or our stream is lagging, says Extreme. The stream is fine from my end, unless it's lagging from the YouTube side. I wish I could just raid so I could steal all the carrots and meds. Yeah, it's useful. That's why raids are fun. If you've never raided before. Because, like, a lot of the things might be useful for you. But again, you don't even always get these raids. Like, this raid is good. Like, I think it should get Sykes approval. Because it is it, ha it has a lot of resources. And if you've never raided before and it's your first raid, obviously it's not the best. But at least you get stuff. See you in the elderly care home if I survive till that. We'll be playing last and at 80 years old sitting on a on a on a couch or what whatever they do there and we'll play last and earth. That's what I'm talking about. We also have more chests here. At what level raiders come to the base? At level 150, you have to be level 150 for the raiders to come to your base. Okay, we got a few coupons. I'm gonna store some stuff in the chopper. Can I get Sykes approval, please, says RMM7. Yes, you can definitely get Sykes approval. Everybody gets Sykes approval. You get Sykes approval. You get Sykes approval. Everybody gets it. How to delete your chopper? You cannot delete your chopper. In my last day, I'll be playing last day. Oof. Very poetic. I would say that's very poetic. I don't even know if we have more chests here. Or it's all goop. The big one is coming. Dial from the right. I think we've opened up most of the chests. <laughs> Is your chopper can broke? <laughs> the chopper cannot break, but that was a nice comment. Handing out sex approvals like that will devalue it, says the A. Will it? We never said that Sykes approval is something high. Probably already. Maybe that was the joke. I mean, to get Sykes approval, it has to be a 3 out of 10. How many raids can you do? Infinite amount, as long as you can finish the tasks. Dude, you still play last and earth triple, uh, quadruple dot. Oh my god, it's now five years. It's actually been over six years, but okay, boomer. Alrighty. Mm. Where is it? Oh, the, the, the green tickets, where do I drop them? My mind is lost. The stones that didn't drop any stones. There we go. Now we got some carrots to drop. Let's drop some of the carrots. Bam. And an electronic circuit. Oh, uh, where is it? Okay, yeah, the electronic circuit goes up here. For sure. Okay, let's try to pay the schmucks. With a spear. Wait, I want to check something out.
Wait, the day before I still didn't get an update? Excuse me, sir. They said that it'll be coming out, but we still did not get the 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 day before update. We could hop to the day before, I guess, for, for quite a while to run around there. Why not? Give me a reason why shouldn't we do it? Do this. Okay, there we go. Let's set it like that. And let's go to the day before, I guess, ladies and gents. Let's let's run around in that game for a while. I've been on their Discord since the morning, and they said that they will be releasing an an update today. But we didn't get any updates. We got nothing. There we go. We are in the game, ladies and gentlemen. The day before, let's go. Yes, indeed. It is very loud. It is still very loud. Um... Okay, there we go, it's much better. Let's get a character. Let's choose any server and let's hop in here. If we'll even be able to hop on the server, because it says that the population is high, but... We can't even hop in. I checked, there are still 10k players playing this game. It's kind of crazy. I think at the peak it had 30k. I can't join it. I did join in today in the morning. I was able to hop here. Wait, let's refresh the servers again. Let's scroll all the way to the bottom. Oh no. And let's choose whichever one. Maybe we will be able to hop in. Or maybe that'll be our entire experience. It's like, be honest, what did you expect for the game to be? I mean, not this. To be honest, I don't mind whatever we have here. Like, it's it's whatever-ish. The music is a loud part. I think we made it a lot quieter. Like, I don't mind the day before. I just... I was expecting that maybe this will be like 20-30% of the entire game. Like, I wouldn't mind that you have to go outside the city, you like, farm a little bit. You get, like, some loot, obviously still unpolished. Like, everything's garbage, but I'm like, okay, they'll fix it. But, like, what else can you do in the game? It's like, so far, it's so empty. And it's 40 bucks. It blows my mind. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the game. It is a little bit loud, though. Okay, this thing will be loud anyways. Okay, now it is a little bit quieter. A free bag from somebody. I don't know how they dropped that bag. Okay, in any case, let's try to go to our storage room. 
Even if they fixed all the bugs, it's still not what was promised. No, I mean, here it's not what was promised. Like, I'm not even saying anything. I'm just saying that if this was like 20% of the game, if we had more things to do, then yes. But we have nothing to do here. So it is pretty good. I have nothing again! The bug! Ladies and gentlemen, I've seen some people complain that you do lose everything. I don't even have any more coins. So I can't even play the the game, right? I lost everything. Whatever amount of coins that I had, I no longer have it. How are things going? Try to do glitch and buy a Lambo. I don't even know how that thing is done. To be completely honest. Okay, let's go outside. Let's probably die. Too late for a refund, right? Uh, I was lucky enough to get the key from the devs, so I didn't have to buy it. I would have probably refunded after two hours yesterday, though. Because yesterday, after two hours, we kind of explored the entire game, so I was like, okay, there's nothing else to do. And I would have definitely gotten the, the refund. Alright. We won't get any loot here for sure. I just want to die, probably. Because then we get 500 coins when we die. Can I even find any zombies? Can I find anything? Okay, cannot touch that. Cannot loot any food. I would barely be ripping off stuff of The Walking Dead. It do be like that. But everything here is ripped off from something. The only good stuff about this game is the ambient sounds, right? The crows, the... The wind. The birds. I like that. Okay, the thing is locked. And what else? I guess the environment is alright. Sadly, you cannot loot most of the things. But like, that's it. Sounds empty to me, it says. It sounds pretty good. It does have too many car alarms, though. But other than that, there's nothing, really. Alright, can I at least find a zombie so that zombie could kill me? Then I can get 500 coins. Okay, cannot load these crates. Last time I could do them. Cannot load. Oh, there we go. I can load this crate. Okay, we got a PC a supply thing that we can sell. We cannot load most of the cars, sadly. We got an electric T. Okay. Wow, is this scum, scam survival? Yes. I thought you compared it to scum survival. I was like, oh, scum survival is amazing. This game ain't got nothing on scum survival. I still haven't seen a single zombie. We should be getting an update today. And I wanted to check it out after the update. But hey, we still haven't gotten it, so here we are. Okay, we got a different jacket. I can get these wires. Okay, cannot load this car for some reason. There we go, there's this pharmacy. To be honest, if this game didn't have any fake trailers, if it just came out like that, Okay, so here you can do the mini game. If it 
if it works, it's like say three. Okay, there we go. That worked. You can see which keys were I clicked, and I got lucky. Okay, we got a bottle of water, which is completely useless in this world. We got a hemostatic agent. Let's get that, and let's drink the water. I cannot loot that last time I could loot it, but not this time. Do we go that way? Yeah, okay, let's go straight and then we can get to the evac point. Rust is so good. Rust is amazing. We're gonna be playing more Rust on the channel. Fumigator, whatever that is. Let's get it. Okay, we got some sort of a key. For every key, uh, there's a lock that'll open from the door with number 893. I've never heard about that. Plus, we got some bullets. Cannot load these things. Okay, let's try to skedaddle. If I'll be able to survive, maybe I'll just get shot in the head from the back. People are already shooting near the evac point. Last jaw, more short, get rust on. Okay, we gotta keep running. Hopefully that zombie will... ...bag off. Where are the zombies? Well, the zombie's chasing us. Bush campers. I just want that zombie to, to go away and then... I want to open my map to know where is the evac site. Okay, that's it. The zombie's not chasing us anymore. Let's check for the evac site. Okay, it's got to be that way. The game has too much action. Which one, Rust or this? So if this game came out without any hype... And it was like $9.99, maybe like $12.99 in early access or something, maybe even free. I don't know. Isn't the e bag there? All right. Wait, the e bag is in this house or no? Where is the bloody e-bag? There's gotta be a bunker. There we go. I'm stuck. It's like I think Scum095 is out. Nah! Is it? There's no way Scum95 is out. They've done just a Q&A today with Raykit. I don't think the uh, Scum is out. Stay still. Our boys are on their way. If it's out, I'll buckle up, I'll make a sandwich, and we'll do a scum livestream then, but I don't think it's out. Nah, it's not out. They've just done Q&As. The, the game is not out. No, 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 no. Hey, so how was your day? Great. Garbage. The day was pretty garbo. See you again. All right, let's try to sell the goop and let's go outside again. That's it. That's the entire game, ladies and gentlemen. Ridiculous. However, here we are. <laughs> you know what? 
Actually, weapons. Okay, let's try to sell now everything some. to this guy. I'll keep them probably. I have 500 uh, Woodberry coins. I can buy myself a pistola. That's it. I can't even buy a backpack. Hell yeah. Thanks. Come again. Until we meet again. Let's get that all. So yesterday I was actually in disbelief when this game came out. You know what? I went outside. I like, killed a few zombies. I was like, okay. Like, whatever. What else does this uh, this game has to offer? And then the realization hit me like a truck. I'm like, that's it. That's the entire game. I was just like, whoa. Hey. You're welcome. I don't think I've played an emptier game on this channel. I have Great. played a decent amount of mobile games. And Same I don't think again. I've played a, a an emptier mobile game compared to this game, which is like crazy. Is it worth to buy this game? Not in its current state. The storage is always available. We're just playing this over last and it says Ethan. You must be joking. Okay, let's go to the Fortune City. Just gotta use your imagination. All right, we got a pistol. Maybe I'll be able to to sneak up on someone. I doubt it, though. You have entered the danger zone. Collect as much valuable loot as possible and return to Woodbury. As I'm pretty sure there will be a lot of people with guns and everything. So there's no way I'll be able to do anything here. We got more metal junk. We could be doing a task here, but those tasks are kind of ridiculous. Right? We could do a task for her. Like, how far is it? It's all the way at the bottom. Like, things would probably know. It looks like it's a lootable bag, but I cannot loot it. Maybe somebody has already looted it. The stupid alarm. Stop it. Stop the alarm. Everywhere I go, I can hear the sound. I heard gunshots from around here. I heard footsteps, but probably... I'm imagining... Looks like there were two people shooting each other. Cool, I got my Glock. I can join in. There's a zombie here, but also there was a player around this place. If I go through that zombie, the zombie will start chasing me. And I won't be able to get the player. Interesting. Interesting. 
I just saw that I can loot this thing. Go on, let me do it. Nothing. So how is the game? I mean, better than last in Earth Crater. That's for sure. If this was last in Earth multiplayer, then hey. That would be bloody amazing. But it's not. Alright, so the player was around here. It looks like it's gone. What are these sirens, though? I have no idea. Okay, I want to open up my tablet. Citizen Bank. If I go that way. Maybe let's go to the bank. The alarms are ridiculous. Okay, that's got to be the bank then, right? I'm going to hide behind this thing and I'll check my tablet. Okay, so there we go. There's the bank. Somebody's inside. Here comes my death. Where is anybody? Bloody pillows. Somebody's looting. There's somebody in this building. Don't know where they are, don't see them. But they are in this building. I got three dollars. Boy is getting fat stacks here. Let's start another. Vrook. Somebody's there, I'll just like there's a Look at the tablet now, schmuck. They get probably stuck in the tablet. Uh, where is the backpack? I don't even know if... Okay, water bottle is better. The pillows are kind of trash, though. I'll get food. Shampoo. And this 25 and this 25. There we go. They don't have their backpack. I can't steal their backpack. That's stupid. Maybe they didn't have their... Their backpack. Interesting. Uh, 
A pack of nuts! Um, I'm gonna get rid of the fork just to get the pack of nuts. Hell yeah. How are you having fun playing this? I mean, I've played Blast for six years, brother. I've cleared Bunker Alpha hundreds of times. Oh, that explains everything. Exactly. Okay, we got a PC motherboard and a radio. Can't get anything. Because guess what? I don't have a backpack. Wish you could find backpacks here. Thimble. Okay, how do I get out of here? Once again, we gotta go up to that evac point. It's not downstairs. Okay, I'm stuck! Another backpack that we could loot. Is this the new episode to the No Storage series? It will be like that. And I have to find the exit. And I gotta dip out of this place. And I gotta go back home. This is Days Gone 2. Can we have Days Gone 2? We have Days Gone 2 at home. Days Gone 2 at home. Okay, there we go. Finally, I found the exit. It's night! I came here during the day. Now it's night. Bruh. Oh, it looked like it's night. It's day again. What if I go this way? Do I go the right way? Nope. We gotta go that way. And uh, then we go straight and then right. Okay. Let's go, baby. Yeah, days is gone. Streams were good. Yes, indeed. Is there a story in the day before? There's nothing that says the entire game that you're, that you're seeing here. That's all we have. And do I run just straight from here? I think so. Why don't the character picks up and uses those lootable backpacks? Uh, I don't have a slightest clue. Okay, so we just gotta run straight and that's it. Let's go for it. Hopefully we don't get popped by another player. Okay, the game was freezing there for a second. Sadly, you cannot look with alt when you run. You can only look, uh, look around when you're walking. Oh no, there's a zombie in front of us. A bullet sponge. There's a player in front of me. I'll get sent to sleep. Players around this area. Players here looting something up the top. Or here. There we go. The dude is going. The dude's going, and so am I. the dude go? He was just here a second ago. Hmm. 
body was just here a second ago. Where did he disappear? Unless he just ran, but there's no way he could disappear. Out of sight this quickly. Whatever, let's go to the evac. Teleportation. Okay. Perhaps, perhaps. Okay, I don't think anybody's behind us. I can quickly whip out the tablet. Yep, we're still going the right way. Okay, that's in this big house. I was just trying to play scum. Trying to level up uh, my engineering, says the Minecrafter. Good luck with that. to hit me. There we go. Let's just dip out before they shoot me. I wouldn't be surprised if people still can be shot here. Stay there still. Go. We did it. Our boys are on their way. Oof. We got extracted, ladies and gentlemen. Great. Makes no sense that the first thing it lets you open is the storage here. Take care of yourself. Like, you cannot find guns outside. I haven't found a single gun, and it always automatically uh, leads you to go to storage. Like, what am I gonna store there? Nuts? See this scar? Scratched by an in. Hey, wanna take. Okay, let's try to sell all the garbage. Extensive arsenal. Choose what you want. I don't think there's anything the else we can do. Until we meet again. I know what it's like. Well, I don't know if we'll be ever returning to the day before again. Maybe. After like some sort of a huge patch to check it out again. Heard you're making progress. I have no idea. Whatever, let's go back then uh, to the storage real quick. Hey, good luck to you. Let's hey deposit there. our cash. It'll probably disappear anyways. They said it's that they'll be wiped. Here. It's not like it matters Ready? anyways. It's not like I'm planning to return anything? here anytime again. soon. Who so that is it, ladies and gents. Goodbye. Uh, the day before. And that is it, ladies and gents. We'll be buckling it up. So thanks everybody for joining. See you tomorrow with another... I don't even know what it'll be. Maybe we'll be starting like new series or something. I don't know. We'll see. So take care everybody. Peace out. Shout out to all of you. And uh, see you later guys. Take care. And peace out. Thank God says Ethan. <laughs> God damn it. Take care everybody and see you later. Take care. Peace out.